Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan SE 4 Motion. This particular one is deep black pearl on the exterior with cinnamon leatherette interior on the interior. It features the dark gray or anthracite alloy wheels, LED running lights, LED headlights, keyless access on two doors, silver roof rails, silver window trim, integrated turn signals in the uh, the rear the uh, side view mirrors that nice bold line down the side remains goes up into the top of the tail lights there with the LED tail lights turn signals and reverse lights on the rear faux exhaust tips down here at the bumper also molded into the body the uh, paint the uh, bumper color there so they're black so they're kind of muted uh, and there are now oversized reflectors on the uh, right above those exhaust those faux exhaust tips this one also has a bumper dillo right here it is a bomberito car it was accidentally delivered to offenberg uh, i don't know how a truck driver made that mistake they're 50 miles away from us but uh, they did so we're going to go over some things on the car here let's take a quick look inside and before we climb in here's a look at that cinnamon interior very nice the door inset right here the arm pad right here is black. The door inset is cinnamon. That contrast stitch right here and then also right here. Same with right here, contrast stitching. In the cinnamon seats there, the black button for the manual headrest adjust right here and that contrast stitch continues up right there. There's a look at it there. And before we climb in, here's a look at the seats. This is a five seater setup. It's all wheel drive. If you do front wheel drive, you can get this with three rows of seats. And as we climb in here, here's a look at the instrument cluster. It's a digital instrument cluster with the, the three screens. This is now standard. Uh, you have the three different views. Do I hitting the view button here? There's a speedometer screen, the tachometer screen, and then there's the blended screen there. You do also have this mouse set up here where it's up, down, left to right, and okay in the middle by hitting the left tab there. I can now change what's over here on the left side. I can scroll through these if you see that moving there and hit OK to select something. Uh, and then over here on this side, I can do the same thing. Uh, now this car does not have navigation, but you can have it do turn by turn um, with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and it's gonna show up your turns over here. You do also have a telescoping adjustable steering wheel. Pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it where you need it. And then there's a coin box for storage right there. Automatic headlights right here. Um, there's a look at the dash there. All the way across there. Nice flat dash too. It's an MIB3 radio on this car with the gesture control, that little hand right there. Actually, I'm doing the wrong direction here. Oh, I hit something there. Uh, but I promise you, you can do gesture control here and waving your hand gets it to move. You just got to find the sweet spot there. The backup camera is an HD camera. It does have trajectory steering. Turn the wheel left, turn the wheel right. The yellow line moves accordingly. Uh, the red line signifies where your bumper is. Now you do also have, um, uh, what, what I'm trying to do here, um, assist systems. You do have um telephone set up here so you got bluetooth of course android auto apple carplay are all wireless you just hook up this way here i'm not sure whose phone that is it's somebody that test drove the car but you have wireless charging down here two usb-c connections right here as well and then you do have a 12 volt charger port over here now you do have this climate control here i'm gonna actually turn that down a little bit because getting a little stuffy in here whoa don't need it to go that low um but uh, you have your climate control here. It's all capacitive touch. So I can touch the red line to go higher, the blue line to go cooler. I can also adjust my fan speed just by sliding right there. And then uh, also my heated seat works the same way. It starts out on high, then medium, then low, then off. Same with the passenger side over here. You do also have your vent settings right here. And the menu button still works the same. By hitting the menu button there, I have this touchscreen version up here where I can adjust the fan speed and I can also adjust my temperature here. So the very nice that it does all of this here. Um, you do also have a carbon fiber type finish 
right here or pattern on the dash. It goes over into the door on both sides. It's over here in the driver's door as well. Uh, you do have one touch up, one touch down on the windows, just as usual. And you have the silver tips on the uh, window buttons here and a window lock right here. Power lift gate right here. I can actually open the lift gate from the driver's seat. And being that this is an all wheel drive version, I can actually close it from here too. If you have a front wheel drive one, you will not be able to close it from the seat, the driver's seat. The key is to lift and hold. In the glove box here, there's your manuals right there. You do also have a uh, tire warranty and what have you in here. And then also an adapter to go from USB-C to a regular USB if you have the old school cable. This one does have the auto dimming home link mirror right here with the digital compass there three door garage door memory down here below the three buttons um this also has lane assist uh adaptive cruise control and uh emergency assist so i'll turn on adaptive cruise control here and then we can go to oops let's see here on the tip here lane assist there it is and i'm trying to do this one in a hurry because there's a customer that wants to buy this car it's our only tiguan side assist rear traffic alert and front assist. We've had this car an hour and we've already had it go on three test drives. Um, and the second person wants to, to change their mind once the third person went on a test drive and said they wanted to buy it. So it's going to go quick. Uh, remote start. The buttons are all right here. The two times button is what you're going to use to remote start. The panic alarm on the side there. Nice slim key there. This being an all wheel drive model. There's a snow mode. And then I also have eco normal sport and custom. And then I also have the off-road custom where I can actually tweak these things, turn off hill assist, hill descent control, turn it on and off, uh, and just overall tweak the, the uh, settings. Storage is right here. A little bit of storage down in here as well. Just like the Jetta and the Taos, you have the cup holders here and coin storage right here. Here's a look at that two-tone feel. The seats here, cinnamon here, black on the door panels, cinnamon in the insets. Same with the back here. Let's take a look at the back seat. Okay, this one comes in at 33,360. 33, the extras on this one include car, I'm sorry, the uh, auto dimming home link mirror for 345, monster mats for 275, if you can see those right there, and then also a bumper dillo protection plate for 160 and a roadside assistance kit for another 90 bucks, bringing you to that 33,360. As we look at the back here, here's a look at the back seats. These seats are adjustable as well. The back of the seat is also cinnamon with the magazine pocket here on both seats here. There's a vent set up for the rear passengers here and a little cubby right here and then a 12 volt charger port right here as well and another USB-C connection right there. There's a look through from the back to the front. I do have plenty of leg room back here, ample leg room here and I can move this seat up. There's my socks today. I can move this seat up and still have plenty of leg room here and I can also recline the seat There's a little lever right here I can pull and recline my seat and I can also move this seat back And a door inset for the rear pad uh, the rear doors here There's a black speaker cover right there the one touch up one touch down on the windows There's a look at it there car seat hookups here and also here a fold down armrest in the middle seat here squishy yet firm black around the cup holder here and this is also a pass-through i can push this button right here and lower the seat so i've got two functioning seats with a pass-through still in use steel reinforcement on the back of the seats here all three of these seats have steel reinforcing plates here so in the event of a rear impact crash anything back there doesn't penetrate the seat and injure someone sitting in the seat here's a look at the monster mats they're already installed on the floor here uh, they catch snow melt and water and things of that nature off of boots. There's a look at the dark headliner here. The car does come with Carnet free for five years. That little green button tells you that your Carnet is active. That your roadside assistance and emergency services there. Now let's take a look at the rear hatch. As you look at the dark gray anthracite wheels. Between the G and the U is a little, the little switch there to open up the back. This one has the cargo blocks here. The monster mats, as I said, are already installed up there. You do also have this roadside assistance kit and there's my license plate there just sitting over there so that's not anything that comes with the car here's a look at the spare tire and the jack apparatus here and here's a look through from the back to the front now you can for twelve hundred dollars more get one of these with a panoramic sunroof 
You do have a seat pull on each side. Just pull on the seat here and also right here. And I reclined that seat so it's not going to fold flat. But this one here will fold flat. You just push down. And then once I put that seat back up and pull on the, the latch, latch here, it'll go flat. Uh, push to click in place. There's a look at that push button on the back. This car will come with a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. It's four years, 50,000 miles, and includes two years of free maintenance. So your 10 and 20,000-mile oil change are covered by Volkswagen. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's here in St. Louis, I'm going to give you a third year of free maintenance as well. So your 10, 20, and 30,000 mile oil change are covered. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's here in St. Louis, remember, you can fly in and drive out. I'll give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 250,000 miles nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. If you're interested in a car like this one, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257 I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars Thanks a lot guys, stay safe, stay healthy Have a great day